parents this will not tell him that mirror PNH, which is a rare um, clonal blood disease, uh, the before we had therapy, um, uh, patients had it mainly for the rest of their lives, and half of them died of the disease due to thrombosis and were heavily transfused. And um, we uh, did some trials now about 18 years ago, actually, which which redefined really the standard of care as an anti-complement drug called ecolizumab or a C5 inhibitor, um, which is very effective at stopping the complications, but but unveils a problem of, of um, anemia, extravascular hemolysis, where the cells are being broken down um, due to C3 loading. And so the, the new generation of anti-complement drugs um, uh, is being led really with a, by a C3 inhibitor called Pegceticaplan, uh, which um, stops the loading of PNH red cells with C3. And so we took patients in the Pegasus trial, which we reported um, at EHAR, the first time we um, randomized patients who um, were on ecolizumab, the standard of care, and were anemic and mostly transfused, still on while still on therapy, and randomized them to half of them receiving ecolizumab continuously and half uh, receiving pegceticaplan plan after a four week um, uh, doublet. And what we showed there was that the, there was a very high significant and and clinically meaningful increase in hemoglobin. So the hemoglobin went up in the pegcetical patients by 3.8 grams per deciliter on average. And 85% um, of patients were transfusion independent um, on pegcetical compared to about 15% on ecolizumab. Uh, also, the anxiety about blocking um, uh, complement earlier is, is uh, the risk of infections, and we didn't see any difference between the two arms.